Hello everyone. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Amanda and the lovely bride is my aunt. My aunt Kelly has been there since the day I was born nearly 19 years ago. And since that day, she has always been able to help me see right from wrong, support me in my darkest days, and all in all be my best friend. She can always cheer me up whether we're watching cheesy romantic comedies or the latest season of Degrassi. Whether she's nearly running over opossums with her car, singing along to Leonard Cohen's Everybody Knows, or telling me wild tales of the troll that lives underneath her desk, she will always keep me amused. My aunt also has the uncanny ability to teach me things I never expect to know. I've learned much more about Lewis Carroll, Jane Austen, and the Victorian era from her than any textbook could ever attempt to teach me. And not only has she enhanced my love of literature, but she has almost single-handedly fueled my passion for France and the desire I have to master the French language. Obviously, my aunt means so much to me, but I never know exactly how to get that across to people. Compassionate, witty, elegant, and bright are all words that I would use to describe her, while others may say peculiar, unique, and flat-out bizarre. And sure, she is not your average woman. She'd rather watch BBC all night than go out for a drink. She spends her money on vintage shoes and antique furniture. And she would much rather live in the 1800s than bother with present day. By now I'm sure you can surmise, to find the perfect partner my aunt would have to look high and low all over the globe, because where could she possibly find a man to dress up as the wolf to her little red riding hood, or as the gallant gentleman from the 19th century to match her Victorian lady? Who would watch strange foreign films and decorate their apartment with vintage furniture? And what man would be devoted to expressing himself creatively like her? Miraculously though, my aunt found this ideal man four and a half years ago less than five minutes away from home. He was a gentleman, funny, liked all of the same art and books as her, and as Aunt Kelly always says, he had the most beautiful amber eyes. When she spoke of him, you could see the vibrancy in her eyes and hear the excitement in her voice. When I saw the two of them together, I knew that my aunt would marry V9. I am now so thrilled that my prediction has come true because I know that it is sincerely the right choice. V9 truly is the perfect match to my aunt, and any guy that makes her this happy and doesn't mind me occasionally tagging along as the third wheel is okay in my book. Honestly though, Aunt Kelly and Vina are in love. They care for and strive to see the best in each other. They can't bear to be apart. They share interests, goals, and even similar habits, so I believe it's plain to see that these two simply belong with one another. And as Emily Bronte said, whatever our souls are made of, his and mine are the same. Aunt Kelly and Vina's souls genuinely are one and the same. You two are the very definition of a perfect couple. You absolutely deserve each other and I know you will both live long, happy lives together. So, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to offer a toast to my darling Aunt Kelly and her wonderful husband, Nina.